come on, come on. Stay in there. Step, step. And breathe it down. You got this now. Over, under, here we go. Come on. Snap down with the heel. Cross step, roll the boat. Come on. Hands up, move it back. Throw it away with me. Come on. Hands up in the air. Pull down this face. Open up hands and heels. Slide up, punch it down. Slide back, left, clap. Pull down left and right and run it up here. Open up your feet, clap. One, heel and five. Point, look up, snatch like right four. Jump up, left knee, right knee, double up. Hey guys, it's Coach Tulane and let's talk about size by Sean T, his new workout. Okay, so the first time I did it was at a Super Saturday, which is this four time a year event that Beachbody does. It was the one that shared my overcoming broken homeless story. And so of course I was in the middle, you know, to celebrate and dance. And so we did it and I did pretty good. It was crazy eight. Well now on Beachbody On Demand, which you have access to for 30 days for free, the information is in the link below, in the, in the description below. You can actually try this workout too for yourself before you even get it. So I'm headed to Summit in Nashville and I am getting, I'll be one of the first to be certified in size by the man Sean T himself. And when he says the end of exercise, all right, you know what? It is because 43 minutes through or 45 minutes, whatever it was, the cool down is hella sexy, y'all. Like I brought out my inner bay. I needed like drunk in love or flawless or partition or something like that playing when I was doing the cool down because it was fierce. So much freaking fun. Um, so I just want to show you something because there's a lot of Fitbit users out there and I'm kind of new to this. But look at how many steps I got. Can you see that? So it's like what, 5,000 something? Well, let's be specific because I earned those things. 5,140. So when I started, I had a couple of hundred steps. If you're into getting your steps and you don't want to feel like that you're doing a hardcore workout, like I'm not a walker, dude, I'm gonna size. Um, I am so into this. My husband, when he saw me do it, he's like, that's your soul workout. So I've danced in the past, but I would not call myself a dancer. I would call myself a wannabe dancer. Like I was um, something I'd love to do, but um, when I was young, because I was so deep in the throes of eating disorders and anorexia, I would be afraid to move my body and jiggle so much so I used to saran myself, saran wrap myself in dance and at the gym and not to lose weight but to stop the jiggle because obviously girls can't jiggle. Well, you all, I'm a plus size health and fitness motivator and while I'm on my journey to fit, it jiggles and I'm with it and I'm rolling with it and it gives me some funk while I'm doing the dances and it's super, super, super fun. So Shanti breaks it down. Um, he really breaks it down, but, um, and that's pleasant to look at, like really pleasant to look at, but he really breaks down the moves and there's no modifier in it, but, if you follow Coach Chilin and subscribe, make sure you subscribe, I am going to be offering a modifier for plus size size and a plus size support group where I'll be going into even detailed. So for those of you who are trying the free 30 days and using my link down below, here's the deal. When he breaks down the moves, if you look at it, they're actually modifications. There's like, you know, I don't know, between two and like five modifications. I didn't count, but you know. There's several different modifications in that particular move. So if you wanted to just be able to dance and move your body, and if you're like me when I started at 330 pounds, I would have used the modified basic breakdown the whole way through. And it gives you so much room to grow. So you're not missing anything, right? Because modification is about going to your ability and challenging it. It's not less than a workout if you're huffing, puffing, working hard, and you know, really, really sweating, right? Like your body's getting used to it, then you can challenge yourself and take it to the next level. So while there's not a physical modifier throughout the dance, because he breaks it down so simply, um, you're able to um, be able to see what the modification is in the case that you need it. And worst case scenario, just kind of go with the beat, right? You can do that too. Um, the only thing I wish he did was, besides having a modifier in there, but that's just me, is I wish he would have taken the dance and as he breaks it down, she does so awesome, I wish he would have broken down the second half of the dance and then put them together because I was nailing the first part and the second part I was just like, I was doing something. No, actually, I, I find I ended up getting it and really honestly, again, the way he breaks it down, it made it easy for me to, be able to, lose, to learn the whole dance anyways. Um, and so the video that I have posted um, of size in this dance at the sneak peek is me doing it for the first time. 
and um, oh my gosh, it is it is really, really, really a lot of fun. So if um, dance is something that's always excited you, if you wanted to be able to do a workout that wasn't very, um, um, didn't feel like a workout, like especially if you're into steps, like I'm not big on going for a walk, but pulling out size and breaking that down or rocking body or uh, hip hop abs is a way for me to get my steps and get moving because I'm sedentary for so much of my day working. Um, it's fantastic. I am a sweaty mess. Like it literally brought the sweat on and I was not expecting that. Would I recommend it for plus size women? Absolutely. I have two tips for you. Please, 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 please learn to engage your abs. I learned this from Shanti himself. Uh, just go, ha, huh, and that feeling at the end, ha, huh, at the end, your tummy. That's an engaged ab. Or pretend like somebody's gonna punch you in the stomach, as unpleasant as that sounds. Um, so definitely make sure you're engaging your core throughout and learning how to do that and watch your knees. Um, I don't think you would have a knee problem and that's what I really liked about it. It's not like kickboxing or anything, but make sure that you step into your moves. I, you know, um, that would actually really be helpful. So I do that. So when I'm, what I like about what he does is that when he's using his lower body, like I have a twice dislocated knee and a crushed arch once severely dislocated knee. Um, and I had no problems doing it. So just, you know, go at your ability and challenge it. Um, but don't be afraid to do this work. I go, oh, I have bad knees. Y'all, we all have bad knees. Like, you know, try the sneak peek, modify it. And if it's something that involves your knee, there are 10,000 other options for you. Um, well, maybe not that many, but there's a lot of options for you actually in size. So if you want to get size, check out the link below. If your coach sent you to this, go back to them. Don't come to me, go to them. Um, I do have an exclusive plus size support group for those doing size. Um, and if you want details on that, that's below too. So yes, if you are curvy, if you are plus size, if you always wanted to dance or you used to dance or you admire people that dance or you like to be able to break it down and have a workout that doesn't feel like a workout and you don't have a lot of floor work, y'all get size. I will be certified in July with Shanti. I am so energized, it's only 8.30 in the morning and I got more than half my steps done. Holla.